the Select Similar tool is closely related to the functionality of the Custom Selection and Custom Modification commands. However, with this tool, you can rapidly switch between sets of parameters and execute the operation with a single click. First, we'll cover all the preferences of this tool, as that's where the majority of the control lies. The modes this tool can be used in will make more sense once we've explained these preferences. The Preferences dialog box allows you to select which attributes of the clicked on object you wish the selection to be based on. If you only select one attribute, such as class, then use the tool to click on an object. Any object of any kind will be selected, as long as it is in the same class as the object that was clicked on. If you select two or more attributes, however, the selection will only select objects that meet both or all of these criteria. Beneath each category, you'll see a checkbox marked All. If none of the objects in that attribute category are checked, the box will be blank. But as you can see here, if I select one attribute in that category, the All box will be filled with a square on Windows, or a hyphen on Mac. This does not mean that all of these attributes will be used to select the similar objects, just that the category has a mix of checked and unchecked attributes. You would need to click in the All box manually in order to automatically select all of that particular category. At the top of this dialog box, you'll have the option to save a number of settings you've selected. This allows you to easily switch between previously created sets of custom settings. Make sure to name them appropriately so that they're easy to find later. The Manage button at the top right allows you to see a list of all saved sets of selections, letting you easily modify ones previously created. Moving on to the Tools modes, the first mode, Select Any Object, selects any object that match the defined parameters in the Select Similar Preferences of the object that you've clicked on. If you click on another object, the previous objects will be deselected, and the new set selected instead. As when you're selecting objects normally with a selection tool, if you hold the Shift key down, it will add the newly selected objects to the existing selection. The second mode requires that you already have a number of objects selected. With this mode active, when you click on an object already included in your previous set of objects, it will only search for objects within this pre-selected group. This allows you to isolate the Select Similar tool's search to a specific set of objects. The last item on the toolbar lets you quickly choose which save settings you want to use without you having to open the Preferences dialog each time and select it from there. This tool saves time when making sweeping changes or selecting specific objects, removing the need to hunt down objects and assuring you have all the required instances of each object taken care of.